Hi guys, so this is a video to demonstrate using a Raspberry Pi 3 with a, uh, a webcam attached by USB to scan a QR code, decode the information, translate that information into Wigan data and then send that out directly via GPIO. Um, I've got a camera, uh, as you can see it's um, connected directly to the Raspberry Pi and that once the QR code is scanned it will send uh, data out via GPIO to a Net2 ACU, which then will either grant or deny access, depending on whether the Wigan number that was sent is or is not associated to a person. So with regards to the um, Raspberry Pi, as you can see the three wires that are hanging out are for the GPIO, then we've got the USB for the camera, that's for a keyboard and mouse, Ethernet connection, HDMI so I can see what's going on, and just power. So we don't need the keyboard connected in normal scenarios, nor do we need Ethernet um, in this scenario, um, because <clears throat> what I'm going to show you is the QR code, the only intelligence that runs on the Raspberry Pi is to decode the QR code, translate and send Wigan data, that's it. There's no other check-in to see whether uh, the QR code that is scanned is valid um, for anything other than the purposes of does it contain something that it understands so I can send Wigan? Obviously, you could scan any QR code on this, but only QR codes that are encoded with certain data would be recognized and then the data sent via GPIO. <clears throat> you could change this um, and have it so there is more intelligence that runs on the Pi itself. So you could have like a, a QR code that's encoded with certain data that will click a relay via GPIO without connecting it to a net to access control or any other ACU unit so there'll be sort of more intelligence the QR code could look up against the server for example the, the QR code could be encoded with date and time so it only works on a specific day or a specific time or time range etc etc but in this example as I said the the only intelligence that runs on the Raspberry Pi is that it recognizes the QR code um, it will scan it it will translate it to see whether do you contain data that I understand. If it does, it then converts that data to Wigan, sends it out via GPIO, and then it's up to the access control solution to say whether that Wigan number that was received does or does not belong to a person in question, um, and then obviously grant or deny access. So what I'll do is I'll present, I've got two QR codes, uh, one, is access permitted as far as Net2 is concerned and one is access denied because it doesn't belong to any person. Both will come through as an event but one will click the relay and one will not. So let's uh, let's give it a go. So if I hold the QR code that is valid up to it, it will scan the code, send out the data, gets translated, sends it out as we can see on screen. Myself, Daniel Reigns, um, access permitted at the um, at the top of the screen. Do that one more time. So I say it's pretty quick to, to scan, decode, and send. Now, if I do a, another QR code that is access denied, we'll still get an event come through because it will still send that number through. Um, but as far as access control is concerned, um, there is no such person associated with the token number, so therefore access was denied. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye bye.